We live in a world-class city, so it's no surprise that our drinking water is some of the best in the world. To get it to this high quality, Sydney Water sources water from local natural sources and then filters it at our water filtration plants. In its natural state, there are some particles in it, which is part of the natural environment. Some of the particles are heavy, like gravel and sand. These will settle to the bottom of the water quickly. There are even lighter large objects, like leaves and twigs in the water. When the water enters the water filtration plant, the leaves and twigs are collected straight away by a screen. They are removed from the water and composted. But some particles like clay and tannins are so small that they stay in suspension or are dissolved in the water. We can tell how many of these particles are in the water by measuring its turbidity. Turbidity is the cloudiness of the water. The cloudier the water looks, the more turbid it is. The particles that cause turbidity are called colloids. These particles are continuously moving in water because they carry a negative surface charge so every time they come close to each other, they bounce apart. Colloids are so small that they will go straight through a filter. To remove these colloids, we follow the processes of coagulation, flocculation and filtration. These scientific methods were first used by ancient Egyptians and have been practiced by humans for thousands of years. Firstly, we raise the pH level of the water by using a hydroxide such as lime. This prepares the water for the chemical reaction in the next steps. Then we disrupt the negative charge of the colloids by adding a coagulant. The coagulant has a positive charge, which neutralizes the negative charge of the colloids. This is coagulation. We use a giant stirrer to mix the coagulant into the water quickly, which encourages the colloids to bump into each other and start to stick together. This rapid mixing is flocculation. To get the particles to become even bigger and stronger, we add a polymer. The polymer grabs onto the group of colloids, clumping them together to form a flock. This flock can easily be trapped in our filters and removed from the water, reducing its turbidity. Our filters are made up of deep layers of tightly packed crushed coal, sand and gravel, which is continuously monitored and cleaned several times a week. This is called filtration. To further protect the water from pathogens which may be harmful, we also carefully add small amounts of chlorine. This ensures our water is safe to drink from the tap. As a final step, we add a small amount of fluoride to the water. It's not part of the filtration process, but it's a safe and effective way of preventing dental decay. At Sydney Water, we have teams of highly skilled people working around the clock to ensure that our water meets the Australian drinking water guidelines, which are some of the strictest in the world. So the next time you turn on the tap, you can feel proud and assured that you have some of the best and safest drinking water in the world. That's why most people choose to drink Sydney water straight from the tap over any other water every day.